and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Thai fish curry on the menu today. Really, really simple. Love this one. Making this with a whole tilapia. You could be using any fish you wanted. Quite simple. Tastes delicious. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started here. So, in our pan or wok or whatever you want to use, we're going to drop in some coconut milk. In that goes. And with the heat on, what we want to do is cook this for about four to five minutes. We want to kind of reduce it down. So, fairly high heat. Reduce it down a little bit, then we're going to add some curry paste. Okay, so as you can see, it's just reducing down, just slightly thickening up a bit. You could do this more if you wanted, but I'm going to go in right now. Now we're going to add some Thai curry paste, which I think is wonderful. I always say, don't think it's like that kind of awful pasta sauces or anything. Generally, when you buy, I've got like a tablespoon for this amount of red. And yeah, generally when you buy curry paste, Thai curry paste, I've never had a bad one quite frankly, like well, every store or every company, they're all pretty good, they're pretty pretty authentic, unlike like I say a lot of those awful ragu pasta sauces which are like baby food. Anyway, what we're going to do here, I'm going to cook this in, now I'm going to be adding some other bits and pieces to this like some galangal, lemongrass, garlic and so on, so a bit of chilli, which is already in the paste, so you, you don't have to follow that bit, you can just use the paste, no problem at all. Like I say, it's wonderful stuff, and I've, I've never had a bad one ever, of all the brands that I've tried, they all seem pretty good. And if you want to make your own, I mean, check out the channel, have a little search on our channel, because we've definitely made that before. Uh, another question that I've been asked a few times is uh, red curry paste versus green and yellow. Yellow's just got turmeric in it. Uh, but the, the main question is people ask me which one is hotter. Green is definitely the hottest. Some people think it's the red, I don't know why, it's the kind of red association with chilli or something, but no, it's definitely the green. Green curry paste is definitely the hottest one, in my opinion. Okay, as you can see, we've got a beautiful sauce happening here now. I'm going to continue doing this just for about another two to three minutes. Okay, lovely, we've got this happening now. I'm going to add the fish. I'm using a whole fish, which I've cut up, I've got some tilapia. Now, if you wanted, you could fry your fish first. If you wanted to kind of seal it, that's up to you. But for me, this works perfectly well like this. Simply, again for the size of fish that I've got here, we're going to continue cooking this on a kind of medium heat for about another four minutes. Stirring all the time. Okay, there we go. Now this fish is nowhere near cooked yet, but it will cook quite quickly. At this point I'm going to add some, like I say, some other bits and pieces, which you don't have to do because it's pretty much all in there, it's just kind of it's going to give it a kind of double flavour really. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of sliced garlic, a little bit of lemongrass. I've just got one stem there which I've cut and just opened it out. Some chilies, red chilies. And here I've got a little bit of galangal, which is not ginger. A lot of people think that it's ginger. It looks pretty much the same as it's kind of root, but Definitely not, completely different. And then some lime leaves here, which I've just sort of chopped, break them like that. You'll get a lovely, lovely familiar Thai flavor. Now, some more coconut milk. Bit of seasoning. My seasoning is fish sauce. Put in some salt in if you wanted. 
but again, like I say, all the flavours are right in that paste. You wouldn't really have to be adding fish sauce or any of these lemongrass and chilli and all that. Now some people want the baby eggplants in here, small peas, potatoes. You don't have to put anything in. That's, that's your choice. I'm going to pop in a few bell peppers in, in a minute just to give it a little bit of colour. But right now, we're pretty much done. Let's have a little. Beautiful. Nice and spicy, nice and salty. That's how I like it. We're going to let that cook on a medium heat for about six to seven minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. That's coming on really, really nicely. Like I said, I'm just going to add some bell peppers in here. Chunky cut, two colours. I'm also going to put in a squeeze of lime, which I like. You could be putting some lemon if you wanted. But this lime juice, I think, is really lovely in there. I'm going to cook this for another three to four minutes max. I want those peppers to be nice and crunchy. That fish is pretty much done. And so are we. Wonderful. Okay, and there we go. That's done. I'm really happy with that. Super easy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love to you. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?